I know so many people aren't going to believe this, but I really hope this is true. Tess Holliday has a new fat loss coach. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words. I trust actions. I don't care what you heard. I'm not slacking. My name is Alan Roberts. This is Everyday MJ Fitness. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell right over there. Share my videos. Subscribe to my second channel, Alan Roberts. In my opinion, of course, I'll point above and below at the end. The bum below at the end is also where you can find the link to the damn collective coaching special. That's my wife, myself, and our team. We help people get to healthy weights. If you need to lose 50 pounds or more, we'll teach you the life skills to lose that weight and keep it off. Check that out. So, I really hope this is true. It appears that Tess Holiday has hired a guy named Joshua Hopkins. So if you check out Mr. Hopkins' Instagram account, he is a fitness trainer, also an Air Force vet. Thank you for your service, sir. A firefighter. And he owns an account called Shed Fat. So he is a fat loss coach. And if you look at the post that he made with him and Tess Holiday together, he says they hit Runyon Canyon together. And she's a very strong person. And he apparently admires her, cares about her. And he said, also be on the lookout for more of us working out together in the future. And if you ask me, in the pictures that he has with her, it does appear lately that Tess Holliday has lost some weight. If you take a look at the pictures of her, of the film of her, where she was eating the cake from the middle like a savage, if you take a look at that, compared to now, I do believe she has lost weight. Now, I am not saying that she has, because I don't have her on a scale. It is just my opinion that if you look at one picture to the next picture, it does appear that she has lost weight. And that makes me very, very happy. Now, there are two possible scenarios out of this. One is likely, uh, but the other one, the second one, is the one I hope for. The likely one, the first one, is that her deal with Mazzy Arias was up. The, the deal where she was working out with Mazzy Arias and then all of a sudden you know, promoted her Fabletics line, because that's what that was. Uh, I called it from the very beginning. I really believe that that's was. I'm sure that they're friends and everything like that, but that is a social media marketing branding thing. Tess Holliday, well, he you know, advertised her brand uh, often on for Fabletics, and good for them. That's great. I'm worried that this is also another branding thing that is the possible first option. But the other one that I really hope is true, I really, really, really hope is true for multiple reasons, is that Tess Holiday is actually going to lose some weight. She's actually going to get healthy, and the reason why I believe that is one, she is a parent, and whether I think she's a good person or not. That goes beyond the fact that she is a parent and she should be around for as long as she can. She should be as healthy as she can for her children and for herself and for her family and the people that care about her. She should want to be as healthy as she can, as long as she can, and there is no way anybody can possibly be healthy at the size she was at and the size she is currently at. That is just factual. Even if she is metabolically healthy, which is something that the Fat Acceptance Movement keeps bringing up, that doesn't mean that every step she takes isn't brutal on her feet and on her ankles and on her knees and on her back. That doesn't mean that she is not at incredible, incredible risk for many other other issues, like higher risk of cancer, all the things we talk about all the time on this channel. I hope that the second option, that she is actually going to lose weight, is true. I hope this isn't just a marketing ploy. Because if it is just a marketing ploy, it kind of shows that she'll just kind of sell out for anything. And that is not what I want. I hope that this is true, that she is going with this guy to shed some fat as his one account shows. I truly hope this is true because not only for her, but for her huge audience and following of people that some of which say any intentional weight loss is wrong. I hope that she starts showing them that you can lose weight for your health and still be proud of yourself, that you can lose weight and it not be toxic, as she has stated before. I am hoping that she starts setting the example to people that your health should come first. Your physical well-being needs to come first because even if, it, if you're not mentally healthy, I've said it before, you're not going to get mentally healthy while you're physically ill. You're just not. You're, 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 you're not going to you not treat a food addiction or a bad relationship with food and somehow become mentally healthy first. That's just not the case. It's never going to happen. So I do hope the second is true. If it is true, Tess Holliday is a brave woman. She is truly brave, especially because how hard she's been on other people in her own circle that have lost weight. She, she is a very brave person to do so. Hypocritical, yes, but very, very, very brave. 
because maybe she's seen the error of her ways and this is a positive thing for her following, a positive thing to show people that she can get healthy, that she can lose weight for her health. That is, that is what I truly hope happens. And in, in which case, she's a very brave person. I would absolutely, absolutely tell her that to her face and support her 100% if she changes her entire motive, her flips her entire script and starts losing weight and comes out and says it's because of her health. I would be a 100% supportive of that. However, if this turns out to be just a marketing ploy, I'm not going to be supportive of that. And that's just my two cents of the matter. My name is Alan Roberts. Hit me up on Instagram at Everyday Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Everyday Fitness. Also on Facebook at Everyday Fitness. On the internet at Everyday Fitness.net. I really hope it's the latter. God damn.